So we need to take a realistic approach. For example, labour is expensive, time is short, and money's hard to get, generally. And if it's not, even if it's not, you don't want to overextend resources because, for example, capital is a representation of energy in some form or another. And if you overspend on capital, you're bringing energy from somewhere else in the economy and reappropriating it through finance, through capital, and putting it into a system. And that <clears throat> is robbing Peter to pay Paul. So we have to stay very syntropically minded. So I'll say it again, we've got to work in the present. So what have you got now? What has Nick got now? What have, what have I got now? What we do have in this situation, in Nick's situation, is grass. And grass is a very powerful plant, it's particularly the perennial grasses. Let's not overlook them. Let's take a step back and work in the present and what we've got now and what can that grass do for us? Well, for the first thing that grass can do is cover the soil in the rows that we've chosen. If we do that, that act alone, we are creating, we are increasing life. If we manage that grass consciously, mindfully, without exploiting it and letting it recover, letting it go through its cycles, we may have to feed it back to itself. We may even have to boost the quality of that grass and move through species succession in the grass. And if you need to know more about that, please follow holistic management and start pursuing that. That is the, uh, the gold standard for, for, for um, grassland succession. But uh, choose, choose a tool, choose bioferts, whatever you need to do to up that grass. Work in the present, work with the grass, work with the now. At a very minimum, you might only be able to manage grass, cover the soil and plant a vegetable crop in the first year or the first season. There's nothing wrong with that. It will pay your bills. It will increase life. It will put you in a better position the next season to plant something else. You haven't done anything wrong. You haven't taken away. You've added through management. It's a very important part of syntropic agriculture management it's key because management is what's going to take you through species succession uh, another example is you may only be able to get hold of seeds at scale because it needs to be at scale or it needs to have some type of this type of economy about it if it's going to work for you and give back so you may only be able to get a certain group of seeds that can be planted at scale they may be things that you can buy by the kilo. Um, you may find that you may want to stratify the first crop in the placenta, in your placenta crop. You may find that, for example, Nick might want to plant zucchini. He may want to plant something else. I'm just taking that as an example. And he may want to stratify and he can only get, you know, because he's got four kilometers of rows, he may only be able to get something like a, a maize or a, uh, a forage sorghum sedan grass type of species to use as an emergent. It's not going to take away from the system, it's only going to add, but that can be bought by the 20 kilo bag and that can be sown with a mechanical seeder or a jang or a disc seeder or something like that, which is you know quite attainable. And it would probably take around about two hours to put that out over four kilometers of, of rows. At the same time, there may be succession involved. There might be a life cycle difference as well because the sorghum uh, and the zucchini have the same life cycle essentially so you might want to add a little bit more complexity and add something with a bit more life cycle so you may in uh, Nick's case he is in a Mediterranean environment he may be able to access in bulk at a reasonable cost Tagasasti seed so he's adding life cycle and strata plus managing the grass to improve the soil and immediately he's in a situation where he's working with the resources that he's got now. He's in the present using the power of the placenta. It's very, very powerful. Like every stage in succession has its own type of power that we must utilize. 
We don't need to rush forward into the future, create anxiety about moving into the future, worrying about the trees, worrying about planting out all of those eucalypts or acacia mangium or poplar or whatever it is, they will come. They will come when you can manage it. If you can't manage it and you overextend and try to do it, you may be setting yourself up for a fall. But already with that simple approach, we've got cash flow from the placenta crop, for example, zucchini. We've got stratification because we've got an emergent over a medium strata. We've got a little bit of life cycle difference. So we've got something that's going to keep growing that we can prune and manage once the zucchini are harvested and the sedan grass or maize is cut out. We're already working in syntropy. We've already got something coming back without overextending. And this is how we must strategically approach uh, syntropic agriculture so it pays its way through time. There's no rush, especially if it's going to cost you more than you get back to go into higher succession straight away. Why do it? I mean, there's plenty of reasons you want to see life increase faster. Sure, but what's it going to cost you? How much? What is the net energy gain of that approach? How entropic is that? How syntropic is that? How much is accumulated versus what you've had to add? So again, I used a key word there, which is accumulation. What we're doing is accumulating through every stage of succession. So if we move from the placenta, from the grasses and the annual crops into placenta too, we may be the next season working with zucchini again in, towards placenta too, because there's no defined point where placenta one ends and placenta two begins. They blend, reality is very different than the construct we use to create a framework of understanding. Please don't confuse the two. So if we go for, into the following season and we use the same crop pattern again, that's fine. But what we have done is we have improved conditions. We will probably find that we're, you know, I don't know, who knows how the grass was managed before you got there. But we might be in a position to, we have may have nurtured that grass so it's actually stronger. The roots are deeper. The macroorganism is increasing in complexity. We might be able to add better quality grasses. We might be able to add Mombasa grass, or we might be able to add um, Rhodes grass or something like that, which will give us more and more and more, which gives us more biomass, which feeds the positive feedback loop of a consortium. So my main point is stay in the present, recognize the power of that level of succession you are in because each level of succession that you are in is powerful. Placenta two is powerful. P placenta two gives great cassava. Placenta two gives you know excellent um, short-term fruit tree crops. You know, tamarillo, etc. As you're moving into that woody weed stage before you're moving into true trees in in early secondary succession. So. My, my message is, what have you got here and now? What can you do here and now? How can you make that work in a syntropic way? How can you accumulate life through your actions now and get back in the now? What is the race? Why is it a race to get to high succession? You'll get to trees. You'll probably get to trees, better trees, going through this process than running the risk of not ever getting to trees or getting to trees where you can't manage them because you're overextended, you might have gone broke, you might have bitten off more than you can chew, and it will shake you up when that happens. That, we, that is very, very demoralizing. So, you know, like what I say, work out what you think you can do. Be very, 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 very strict about what you can think you can do and then cut it in half and work with that because it will give you back more. And one last point that I want to make, you don't need to know everything now. What you need to know is what to do in the present. In the future, when you're managing trees and there's a lot more complex knowledge applied, you will know that then. Please remember that. Be confident, work in the present and work with the amazing power that exists in every point in succession. Each one is powerful. So I hope that's clear. 
stay in the present and thanks.